teammates. Hi, I'm Lynn Armstrong, and I'm here today at the 76th Annual Lake of Bays Regatta for the Anglican Church. So far, we've done pretty darn well, but I'm getting ready to get into my first race. This is a regatta that's unlike any others because here we're on teams representing the local lodges. I'm with Port Cunnington Lodge, which is great because I compete with fellow cottagers and guests to try to accumulate as many points as I can at the end to win the big cup, which we have to get back from Lumina Lodge this year. So stay tuned as we get out there and compete. Running a successful regatta is all about organization, providing races for young and old, novices and experts, so everyone has a good time. The added benefit of this regatta is that it's also a fundraiser. Well, we're here at the 76th Annual Lake of Bays Anglican Church Regatta, being held on a day that's kind of iffy weather, but now it's looking pretty good. It's clearing up. It's really turning out to be a nice day. This is Reverend Tong Cunningham, who is the parish priest for the four churches, I guess, in the parish. Yeah. And as I mentioned, this has been going on for unbelievably 76 years. years. Yeah. Oh, wow. Each, it's uh, been held each year at one of the uh, four lodges around the around the bay here. Now tell me, why is this the Anglican Church Regatta? There are resorts here. Yeah, each each year the uh, resorts have gotten together, and most of the organization though takes place through the church congregation, the Anglican uh, Parish Congregation at uh, St. James or St. John's, and so there are people from each of the uh, lodges represented at the uh, at the church. So how does the church benefit from this? How, where's the fundraising take place? Uh, they there are uh, barbecue and they sell, uh, sell hot dogs, hamburgers, all that kind of thing. There's uh, bake tables up at the up at the lodge. Uh, okay. They sell uh, tickets, raffle tickets, and uh, raffle tickets. And how many? There, like somebody said, there were about seventy prizes. Yeah, there's over something? seventy prizes this year, and wow. uh, they're all from local businesses. So oh. it's, it's really strongly supported by the community. Well, yeah. good luck with it, and looking forward to taking part. It should be fun. Yeah. There are over 200 athletes and spectators here today to compete in and watch all the events, including the 12-year-old boys' swim race. Hey! Well done! That's great! So Zach, how are you doing? Good race? Well done. Yeah? Did you think you'd win it? Yeah, I guess. Some stiff competition, though. It was close. The number two was right behind you. So are you taking part in anything today, Dave? No, I don't think so. No, you're not going to well, show up? I handed it over to my kids now, right? <laughs> I'm, uh, now, did no, you no. used to be just like him? Actually, he's a much better swimmer than I was, for sure. Hey. But you took part in the regatta, yeah, didn't you? Yeah, we did a lot of canoeing. Not as much swimming as canoeing. You used to come here as a little boy and you haven't been here in a while, I understand? Yeah, I haven't been for a few years. The kids have been kind of young to bring them over and stuff like that. So we figured it was time to come back and see how things are going. For the uh, ladies swimming, if the ladies want to assemble... Swimming is the core of any regatta. There must be different divisions and age groupings for boys and girls, men and women, so the competition can be fun and exciting. This looks like another exciting race. Give them a big cheer as they come out of the water. So give them all a big uh, round of applause, folks. Canoeing is the second biggest sport in regatta, my personal favorite. It's these races that separate the true cottager from the lily dipper. Judges have to keep a close eye on the finish line for this one. Keeping competitors on track and races on time is only possible with a good MC like George Daniels. Are you having fun out here today? I always have fun at these things, don't you? Not you get a microphone and just keep on going. <laughs> well, hey, shouldn't we enjoy that? Now, you have to do a little color commentary all day, too, I've noticed. I uh, like to throw in an odd little tip of this, that, and the other. It's wonderful. Yeah. Keeps everybody amused. Why do you keep coming out and doing this every year? Uh, they think I'm a big mouth. <laughs> <laughs> I enjoy it because this is a fundraiser for us after all, but uh, yeah. we have a lot of fun. Yeah, oh, that's excellent. And well, it's one of our opportunities to mix all permanent residents with seasonal residents, so we all have a good chance to get together as one happy family. This inverted paddle, what do you have to do for that? You just turn the paddle upside down and you're actually paddling with the uh, handle. The whole length? The whole it, length. Doesn't that take an hour to, uh, to get it? Not the way our talented uh, competitors this afternoon operate.
Now all this frenzied activity does have its rewards, literally, in the form of ribbons and cups for all the finalists. This particular regatta has donated a new cup today in honor of one of its most ardent supporters. The Mary Elder Cup. That's you. That's me. Congratulations. You won a cup? I won a cup. <laughs> I've got a cup named after me. Named after. I've got a road named after me. I'm you, doing well. You must be a very special person. Well, I hope I am. <laughs> Have you been a part of this regatta for many years? Many, many, many. Who's going to win this cup and who does it go to? It goes to the person who sells the most tickets every summer. Well, congratulations. Well, That's a great you. honor. Thank you very much. Give a big cheer for Zach. Mark Cunnington. <laughs> First place was Lynn Armstrong and Bob Ransom from Fort Cunnington. Well, thanks, Bob. Couldn't have done it without you. And now, the culminating moment of any regatta the grand prize for the winning team. There we have it, a great ending to a wonderful regatta. It looks like it's going to end the same way it started, in rain, so we got to get out of here. We had a wonderful time. Port Cunnington didn't win, but we had a great time competing anyway. Hope you enjoy the regatta on your lake soon, maybe next summer. We'll see you again next week on Cottage Life Television. The official vehicle sponsor of Cottage Life Television is Ford, makers of the Ford Expedition. The cast and crew of Cottage Life Television wear clothing supplied by Columbia Sportswear. The Cottage Life Television boat is a Mariah, powered by Mercruiser, courtesy of Pride of Muskoka Marine in Bracebridge. We would like to thank the following companies and people for their support in the making of our show. If you have any questions about our show or if you'd like to order a copy of this episode, drop us a line at Cottage Life Television, 54 St. Patrick Street, Toronto, Ontario, Canada, M5T 1V1, or you can reach us on the internet at CLTV at cottagelife.com. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next week.